Hi everyone, it's Dave from Outlaw Bushcraft and Outlaw Out of Doors here. I'd um, just like to show you uh, what I've been up to in the last few days uh, that I've had off. Uh, made myself a couple of uh, leather things. I'm getting into leather now, which is um, <laughs> unusual. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm getting the hang of things now and I'm taking a lot of guidance from uh, you lot on YouTube. And I uh, thank you for that. Um, I'd just like to show you, I've got, I've got a halt of fours um, woodsman axe um, which came with a very flimsy little um, uh, guard for it so I uh, got some bought some leather I bought a big box full of it and it all came a few weeks ago and I've been experimenting with it and I thought I'd make myself a proper strong leather guard for my halter 4 axe uh, let me show you what I've got there she is Made from thick, strong leather with a popper. And I don't know if you can see that, the old cursory outlaw bushcraft stamp up there. Uh, pop open and the thing slides straight out like that. Let me show you a bit more in depth. What I've also done, which, um, which is a little bit flimsy, which I may have to uh, um, revamp, is um, a belt loop to go on your belt. But uh, as you can see, thick leather, very thick leather. And it's been formed. It was slightly, it was wet formed here. Uh, and I'll bend it over. And uh, rather than sewing it, because the my machine wouldn't have gone through that thickness of leather, I, um, I've got the old bolts and screws. So I screwed that and then, then cut round it with, uh, with the old... Uh, leather scribe but yeah it seems to work it does it certainly does a trick and my old altar falls act bless it my old which is sharp as a sharp as a, a surgical steel fits in there perfectly so that clips in there like that this goes around there and pops in place and that if you want to can hang it off your belt and I thought that was pretty good for a first effort what I went on to make from there, um, I, I, I was lucky enough to uh, be gifted this a little while back. I'll show you my knife. It's basically what it is. It's a knife where you open the blade by doing that. Or well, made of stainless steel. Um, but it's a lovely knife to fit in your hand. It, that is extremely, extremely sharp. But it, it didn't come in a... Um, didn't come in a holder so what I did was I fashioned one and my first bit of proper wet filming I made a, a little little case for it out of thick leather now again being thick leather um, I didn't go with the stitching I went with the bolts I uh, quite like the idea of the brassy sort of look to it but as you can see this was wet formed around around the knife. Um, first effort, I was quite pleased with the turnout of it, and I've got a couple of little stamps on there, but Outlaw Bushcraft again. Um, that with a belt loop as well, so it fits on the on the belt. So yeah, I just thought I'd like to show you what uh, what I've been up to. Um, first goes at wet forming, proper wet forming, um, and I was quite pleased with that. Um, now I know how to do it, courtesy of YouTubers. Um, I'll uh, I'll be having another crack at it. So if any of you boys and girls would like anything done for your your any of your equipment, any cases or axe guards or anything like that, I certainly have the, the enough leather to do it, and I will do it at a, a very nominal price. Just thought I'd let you uh, give you an update. So it's Dave from Outlaw Bushcraft and Outlaw Out of Doors signing off. Take care.